Hi everyone, so this video is regarding uh, letting you know how to study for SPI, which is the Physics Registry, and uh, Echo Registry uh, for AIDMS. Uh, I know I kind of sort of indicated that in my previous videos about both of these things, but uh, some people have ask, been asking me questions about it and they seem like they're confused. So I feel like I should... Uh, uh, I should, you know, make just a small video indicating, you know, the most important uh, uh, aspects of both of these registries as far as I know and how to study for it. So first one is the SPI, the Physics Registry. And for Physics Registry, ESP is the best thing you can study for it. Don't even think about anything else. Just study SP, ESP book. Uh, if you can get a, a book cheaper online, uh, uh, if you don't want to go to the seminar, if you just want to uh, get a get a cheaper book online, get it. Make sure it's not too old. If it's, I, I believe, if it's older than three or four years, then it's not worth your money. But if it's, uh, and just don't go with the cheap price. I think your time is more important than money. So if it's, uh, yeah, older than three or four months, uh, three or four years, don't buy it. But if it's within three or four years, then buy it and study the shit out of it. Uh, and even better investment would be just to, you know, go to the ESP seminar or, uh, because of Corona now they have, you know, just online uh, ESP sessions. So just attend one of those and just study the shit out of that book. Know that bo book cold, like in and out, like in the middle of the night, someone's going to wake you up and ask you something in that book. You should know it. If you're ready with that, give the registry. And the way I studied for SPI is I took just one month. Don't don't be studying for three or four months. You're a moron if you're studying that long for uh, you know, uh, SPI. Make sure you take one month, drop everything that you have in hand. If you're doing a job or something, maybe two months. But if drop everything that you have in your hand, just focus on the registry. Take four weeks, study the hell out of that book. And when you're sure that you know everything cold, when you're made like, I don't know, I studied, I studied by flashcards. I had flashcards on Quizlet and I tested myself. And you, you can also use Anki. A-N-K-I is, is way better than Quizlet uh, because Anki knows what you're missing on and it will ask you that same thing again and again, what you're missing, not everything. So use Quizlet or Anki and uh, just master that book. If you don't, don't do any practice test, nothing. You don't need to do anything. If you know that book, you are gonna walk in there like a superstar and walk out of the test like a superstar and pass it. So that's SPI. Don't get confused with anything else. Just the ESP book and study the fuck out of that book. Just, just that's it for SPI. Nothing more about the SPI that you need to study or do, okay? Second one is Echo. Now Echo, I will tell you the whole scenario of what I did and how I went through it, okay? That way you can decipher what you want to do. I'll kind of sort of give you a quick, uh, you know, opinion of what I, what, what you should do based on your circumstance. But this is exactly what I did for Echo. Uh, I start, I started by studying uh, ultrasound registry review, which almost three people who are in the field who are like my seniors, who and one lady has been doing ultrasound for. I mean, she was the head of the department. She's been doing it for like twenty five years. She and two other people I know, uh, you know, on the back of my mind who told me that study ultrasound registry review. So ultrasound registry review has a great reputation for ECHO, uh, ARDMS, you know, ECHO registry. So that's what I started with. I, st I studied uh, the ultrasound registry review notes. They have notes and they have practice tests. So first I started by studying notes because this one, um, um, you know, senior person, friend of mine, uh, who just took it recently he told me that he, this is what he did. He studied the notes and the notes are really lengthy. For ultrasound register review, oh boy, you are, I mean, you are studying for medical boards or something like that. They're, they're really lengthy. And he took, he literally wrote all those notes down in his notebook because see, it's all online. You know, they're not like ESP. Ultrasound registry review is just all online. ESP will give you, you know, their own book. So ultrasound registry review, unless you have a way to print everything out, uh, you'll have to write the whole damn thing. And I think it took me at least a month to just, you know, write it, understand it, write it. And uh, um, I don't know how many pages I ended up writing, but it should at least be 50, 60 pages uh, to the very least. Uh, I think it should be 100, you know, uh, not anything less than that. 
So yeah, ended up writing the whole damn thing and then just memorizing the hell out of, you know, everything I wrote and just not memorizing, like understanding first and then memorizing, creating flashcards, all that good stuff. So what I'm trying to tell you is that was very time consuming process. Okay. It took me at least, uh, I took my registry after like, I think four months, three or four months. My plan was to give it in three months. But by four months, I thought I was ready. So I gave it in four months just by, you know, uh, doing that. Now, I didn't even complete the practice test that Ultrasound Registry Review has the first time I gave my registry in four months. And uh, I failed. Now, the reason I thought I failed was because, number one, um, after four months, the first time I gave it, the reason I failed was I think two things were the main factor. The first is there were a lot of video questions. Now, I didn't have a whole lot of experience in the field. I was doing, you know, vascular and all of that stuff uh, at, in my job at that time. So I didn't have a whole, I didn't know a whole lot of pathology. Uh, so the video questions, I was def they definitely fucked me up real bad. And they are like 40% at least. I mean, I felt like they were, you know, yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be 50% of your exam. But yeah, so they were, there were a lot of that. So if you are not really good with that, you all, even if you are, a, even if you, you know, you know everything about uh, ultrasound, you're just gonna, uh, uh, everything about echo, you'll still be screwed because, uh, yeah, you didn't know the video questions. So video questions, number one, uh, messed me up really bad. And the second is I didn't, uh, I feel like I didn't complete the practice test portion of ultrasound registry review. So that really messed me up. Um, so, um, so yeah. And even these other senior people, they told me that the practice test is the must. Even the guy who told me to study the notes, he told me that, uh, he studied the notes and then he completed the practice test. And in the practice test, every time he didn't know anything, he went back to his notes to, you know, uh, learn it and, and uh, highlight it that way, he know, because that everything in the practice test they have, it's very important. So those are the two things I learned after getting my first exam that, hey, these are the two things I really messed up on the videos and the practice test, which I didn't do. And the ultrasound register reviews main strength is its practice test. Its practice test is, uh, it's the main thing they have, uh, really like, yeah, really key ingredient of whatever, you know, uh, great stuff they have going on. So, so I gave my test as I, first, after four months was my first one. And then, uh, two months after that, because once you fail any registry, which you would know if you have, you, you give it back in two more months. I think, yeah, two months is what you, um, uh, I think that's what, that's what I remember. Two months is what I had before I gave the second one. Uh, not sure if it's a month or two months, but something close to that. Uh, but either way, after the first one, I fixed those two things. And the way I fixed it is, uh, the first one is uh, the videos. I fixed it by, uh, buying the ESP um, flash drive. Now it's it's uh, on their website. It's expensive. It's one sixty. Um, I mean, you can find it uh, on eBay or something cheaper. I mean, I sold mine recently, so it's already been sold. Uh, but um, anything you can find at any other place cheaper than that for ESP flash drive, buy it. If not, I think it's completely worth it if you buy it from their website because you are risking half of your test. That's that's almost like you might as well not just give it, okay? So make sure you get that flash drive. That way you know every pathology. Now, ultrasound registry review does have some videos, but I feel like it's not covering all pathology. Um, uh, or it, it might not be as much as ESP. I wouldn't risk it. Just take ESP flash drive. It has all the, you know, all the pathology. And I felt so much confident the second time when I went in. Um, so that was the first thing I fixed. I fixed the videos, which I messed up on the first exam after four months. And second thing I fixed was the practice test. In the, e, in the ultrasound registry review, they have, I think about 10 different practice tests and with a lot of questions. Each one of them, make sure you have at least 85%. If you are, if you have anything less than 85%, you're jerking yourself around. So make sure you have at least 85%, if not more than that, on each test, and only then move on to the second one. And if in the first one, you're not making more than 85%, don't move on to the second one. And make sure every time you take every single test, every question you have wrong in a notebook, write it down. Hey, this is the question. This is the answer. This is the question. This is the answer. For all those 10 tests, you should have at least, I had 
at least 10 15 pages filled up with you know questions and answers like that you will have to review those before your you know uh, exam uh, whenever your exam is because that stuff you don't really know and you got to know all those things so yeah make sure you have 85 percent on each and every practice test of ultrasound registry review that thing is golden i mean out of everything i'm spurring out at your face right now nothing is no more important than those practice tests those practice tests is gonna fucking you know get you all the way to the moon so make sure you do 80, get 85 percent on all of those uh practice tests and yeah once you're getting that you're ready for the exam you you have yeah you sh you are more than ready for the exam if you're getting that so 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 now you get it first i gave it i didn't do well i figured out what were the two things that are missing and then um you know the second time it really worked out so the the best part about this for you is you have the knowledge of knowledge that i acquired over time which is almost six months i think it's ridiculous i took this much time uh to give this exam but at the same time um you know at least now you have the recipe of what works and what doesn't work so we give this I, i'm very positive this worked for me and if you follow this precisely it will definitely work for you now before second time i also did esp uh i also took esp course because i was like i don't know what's going on I'm, i might as well just take esp because ultrasound registry review it's very lengthy and then if you have like six months then definitely study the notes of ultrasound registry review but i took esp course i didn't study the book verbatim because i i studied the notes of ultrasound registry review it's like a fucking encyclopedia you know like there's just no way you have missed out on any Thing. but the thing is you studied so much you 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 don't know everything cold like you would know from an esp book because esp book is usually like 200 pages or less than that and it's pretty like you know i mean pictures and all of that so it's technically like 150 pages so esp book you can fucking memorize every single thing and know every single thing but ultrasound registry review i feel like it's almost impossible to you know uh yeah just um know everything cold so i took esp course before my second exam um uh, you know and uh in that one what i found the most beneficial is it gave me the most important topics because in ultrasound registry review i had fucking so much information i was a fucking you know i was a fucking neurosurgeon walking around with all that information but esp ball down you know like which are the most important topics which one you need to focus the most and uh, uh that kind of i feel like that really helped me because my focus was all over the place just because yeah, ultrasound registry review had so much in its notes esp kind of balled it down for me and after seeing esb book i felt like even if i went the esp route it would have not been a bad idea it would have been a route because they have uh, the, in that book just like physics i feel like they had um you know all the all the you know really important information which i really needed for those practice tests and um in ultrasound registry review so i don't want to lie to you that i've studied from the esp book i took that course uh in the course they go through the whole book with you so i kind of you know listen to the instructor like four in four different sessions and we went through the whole book highlighted the most important things and then i studied the you know really important topics they had and i studied all the very important if you in the esp book they have the uh, every page has two or three boxes with most important questions and i studied all of that but i didn't study like the full book hardcore like spi so you have all the information in front of you you can make out of it whatever you would like because i i mean i would only say this to you based on my experience is if you have a if you feel like you have a lot of time because i personally when i was giving my esp i, I told you i gave myself first four months because i really wanted to understand echo like i like echo and i really wanted to understand it from the depth i just didn't want to give a test i didn't, i wanted to know it as in depth as i possibly can because my program as i told you didn't go was not just echo vascular my program taught me every every single thing and um it was you know i barely got chance to know echo and then my instructor was not that great so uh so yeah so um so 
I was my time was not my main concern. My concern was I really wanted to know this material really well. So that's why for me, ultrasound registry review notes was okay. Uh, it was worth the investment because I didn't wanna, I didn't want there to be a single thing which I didn't know. But if your focus is not that, if you're not, if if you're like, yeah, I definitely wanna do it in three months or less than that. I I ain't got a whole lot of time on me. I wanna. You know, give it in three months, make every minute of it, you know, the most productive minute um, and the most effective one. Um, then maybe ultrasound registry review notes is not for you. ESP notes is for you. Okay. So if you only have three months or less than that, what I would really advise you from in my from my um, perspective is uh, study ESP notes cold. Okay, because they have everything important in it and you're not going to miss out on anything important at least. You might miss out on something very, uh, if, if you want to get a broad knowledge about something, um, but you don't need that for registry anyways. For registry, you just need to know some very important topics. So ESP will definitely get that covered. You won't miss out on anything that's important that's going to show up on the registry. So study these ESP notes like a moron, okay? Know everything just like you would know in, from the SPI ESP book. And once you're done with that, then take all those ultrasound registry review practice tests, okay? And just look at the couple of videos they might have or whatever. If fuck the videos, just do the practice test, all of them, eighty-five percent. If you wanna, if you wanna really ace this exam, um, do ninety percent, but eighty-five percent at least. Okay, nothing less than that. If you're doing anything less than that, you're fooling yourself. So ESP book, uh, ESP book for Echo, and that that would be a and uh, yeah, um, practice test and the uh, um, flash drive. These three things. You are a functioning savage. If you want to give your exam in three months, you don't need any single thing more than these three things, okay? Nothing at all. Just these three things, that's it. Nothing more than that. If you want to do it less than three months. If you were like me, you're like, I want to know this information as much as I can. I want to be the best echo uh, cardiac tech on the on this planet and all of that. Then yeah, go ahead and uh, do ultrasound register review. It's going to be a very lengthy process. You need to be very committed. You need to write down all the notes because it's all online or figure a way out to print all of them. But if you print it, you don't really know all of it because you're kind of reading it. So if you write it down verbatim in a notebook, then you are really, really studying it. You're really knowing it, and no one's gonna. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna be as good as a freaking, you know, uh, cardiologist working in there. So, um, uh, knowledge-wise, so that would be for some something for you if you're someone who has at least, you know, anything between four to six months to give yourself. Um, so do ultrasound registry review notes, okay? And then do the practice tests of ultrasound registry review. It's the same thing, eighty-five percent, at least. And if uh, and and not if and the uh, USB drive for the uh, videos, okay. So ultrasound registry review notes, ultrasound registry review practice tests, and USB drive for all the clips, okay. That's your plan if you have four to six months. So now you know that's my opinion, and I really feel like if you do what I told you based on the time frame you have, you are not gonna go wrong. Just put just 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 put everything on the side from your mind. Just focus on what I told you, and there's no way, no way, no no way that it won't work for you. As long as you give hundred not hundred percent, I would say hundred and fifty percent of what you have. When I studied, I mean, all it took me a lot of time, uh, and I learned from my mistakes. When I studied, I was studying at least ten hours a day, and I was taking uh, and I I took off from my work as well. And I was studying, I was taking about two days off in a week uh, to relax sometimes. And when the exam came pretty close, like, uh, you know, a month or something, I was only taking one day off. So you need to be that committed. Make sure you're, you know, studying that many hours. You're putting in that much work because this ain't a breeze, okay? You're getting a registry. Once you're registered, you, um, you know how it works in this field. You'll get paid more. The more, re the more registries you have under your belt, you know, way more money coming in your pocket, especially if you're doing travel. If you're tr doing travel and if you have like three or four registries under your belt, you are, you are like a freaking, you know, yeah, a, a superstar walking around. So, so make sure these, you know, these things, okay? This is what I did for SPI. This is what I did for Echo. 
it's now it's all on you if you have any more questions let me know but i feel like i've clarified it as much as i can i'm sorry i was going to make a short video it went a little bit longer but i feel like you have the information that you really need to ace both of these tests like just knock it out of the park okay bye